Hello everybody, this is the second video of nine to let you know how I made Collaborations Volume 2. Second song on the album is called In A While. I used to jokingly call it my wonky country song. And uh, I did this almost three years ago in New Orleans. I sent out a text message to everybody I knew in town and said I'm, I'm recording on the Friday and the Saturday and we're doing one song on each day. So it doesn't matter what instrument you bring, we'll just see what happens and work with what we've got. And both days, eight people turned up, so I was so amazed. So on this particular day, which was the Saturday, I had um, Sarah Weinstein, Aaron Gunn, Moses Nelligan, Coleman Aiken, Nathan Woolman, Alejo Majeski, Thomas Majeski, and Shay Cohn. We had the wonderful Bill Howard and Duff Thompson engineering the session in what was the mashed potato record set up at the time in Sam's house. So while we were arranging the tune, Bill and Duff grouped us around a few microphones. Uh, we recorded the whole thing to tape and a big part of this project is that I want it to be fresh. I don't want people to have too much time to overthink a song. Uh, so while we're setting everything up, they're testing everything, and then by the time we all feel comfortable and that we're ready, then we do like five takes in a row. First person I want to introduce you to is Shay Cohn. This woman is literally a superwoman to me. She plays, I don't know how many instruments, at a ridiculously high level. It was a real honour to have her there because I've been listening to her for years. She's in a group called Tuba Skinny. Also, the Lonesome Doves, the Wits End Brass Band, and I've seen her sit in with countless amounts of different good bands in New Orleans. She turned up uh, in the last 45 minutes of the session and obviously just smashed it. Next up, we've got Nathan Woolman. This is a friend that I met a few years ago in New Orleans. He's an incredible trumpet player um, of all genres. And uh, he's in groups like the Big Dixie Swingers, um, Eight Dice Cloth, the Chevrettes. Uh, I've also seen him play with a countless amount of brass bands and sitting in with different people. So I feel very lucky to have had him as part of the horn section. Next up, I want to tell you about the guy that was playing baritone guitar on this song. It's called Moses Nelligan. Uh, for a short time, we were playing in a group called Mardi Gras Mo Boy and his Party Gras Po Boys. And um, he has a great album called Travelling Songs with Matt Kinman. Right now, I have no idea where he is or if he even knows that this is happening. But that's something I love about Mo is that he's in his own little world and he is a friggin' amazing musician. Next up, I'm going to tell you about Sarah Weinstein. Um, she can play double bass on in a while. She's in The Crybabies. She's in Sabine and the Dewdrops. And when Moses Nelligan used to live in New Orleans, she used to play in the Quake Tones. She did a great job playing bass on this tune. I knew she was nervous, but she also smashed it. Next up, we've got Alejo Majeski. Um, he played trombone on the tune. He's probably the youngest of the group. I met him when he was 18, and he's come so far in the past few years. Uh, he's now playing with the amazing Hector Gallardo's Cuban Jazz Band, as well as sitting in with a lot of other bands in town. Okay, next up I'm going to tell you about Coleman Aiken. Um, he was playing fiddle on this tune, um, although he also plays trumpet and guitar and sings like an angel. And um, he's in Frog and Henry, he's in the Bluebird String Band, he's also got a country band called Crazy Arms, and, uh, and also, as everybody else, plays with everybody. Um, so it's a pleasure to have him for the day. And uh, him and Aaron were probably the most chilled out of the bunch. They just kind of went off and did their own thing and then came back and played this beautiful part. All right, guys, we're nearly there. There's only two more to go. Now I'm going to tell you about Thomas Majeski. He's the older brother of Alejo. Uh, we met about five years ago when he was playing with the Rhythm Wizards. And, um, and since then, he's played with uh, Shotgun Jazz Band. He's played with Charlie O'Halloran. He's also played with Hector Gallardo's Cuban Jazz Band, as well as sitting in with everybody as well. Uh, when it came to thinking about the harmony for the horn section, uh, Thomas really took the helm, so I really appreciated that and um, did a great job. <laughs> Okay, lastly we've got Aaron Gunn. Um, this is another really good friend of mine that I met in the first year or two of going to New Orleans. Uh, on this song he plays violin, um, but he also plays clarinet and banjo and sings. 
He is in the Big Dixie Swingers and in Eight Dice Cloth. And like everybody else from New Orleans, sits in with everybody in town. Um, he came over a few years ago and we did a tour in, in Italy together. And um, I just love his nature. I think that's a big part of this project, is finding people that I know aren't only very talented, but they also make me feel very calm when we're, when we're creating stuff together. So it's great to have him there. Thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. There's seven more coming this week. There's only nine days left on the crowdfunder. Um, so if you'd like to get involved, then go to this link. Cheers!